Hey, what is up, guys? This is ZK, and I'm coming at you with my second video on how to create a Nazi Zombies map for the computer on Call of Duty World at War. So the first thing you're going to need to do, if you've already watched the first video, uh, then that's great. Then if you haven't, you need to go watch it. And uh, you need once you have all these mod tools installed and everything, now is the time when you need to run Script Placer. So hit Generator. And uh, let's see. Yes. Okay, so here we have the generator, which is going to give us all the files we need to start creating our map. First of all, click Reza, because that's the one I'm doing here. Uh, we don't want to do prototype, because all you get there is a mystery box and, you know, that kind of stuff. But here you get the mystery box and the zombie dogs and the perks and all that stuff, so that's the one that we're doing. And uh, we want to, um, I'll call it, let's see, YouTube, oops, man, I can't type today. Okay, I'm calling it YouTube, and uh, you can call your map whatever you want to, whatever the name that you want it to be. This is not going to be the screen name, like the name that will appear in the main menu and stuff. This will not be that. This is just your off-screen name. Like, for example, uh, Verukt, in uh, the real map, Verukt, this off-screen name is Asylum. So it's called Nazi Zombie Asylum, but it's called Verukt. So uh, this is your, just your off-screen name. You can name it whatever you want to, just so you know what it is. So hit Generate. Oops. Ah, sorry guys, my bad. Uh, make sure you run this as administrator. There we go. There we go. Okay, so Reza and Generate. Generate successful. You should get that. And that's exactly what we want. So now, when we go into the file, Call of Duty World at War, and we hit mods we should see nazi zombie youtube in the mods folder and yep there we go so we have all the stuff that we need and uh in map source there should be nazi zombie youtube there it is okay so now let's uh go back to the folder hit bin and go to launcher which which would be your main base like i told you before now you want to hit radiant wait for this to load up Come on, come on, load up. I don't know why this program takes so long to launch. It's kind of annoying. Figure eights. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Alright, so open up Nazi Zombie YouTube, or in your case, whatever you named your map, and click Open. Now, this is what you should get. You should be getting, uh, this is what your map will look like. Now, let me explain to you what all these colorful little things are all over the place. These purple things are called path nodes. Now, what they do is they're telling the zombies where they are allowed to go. So, in essence, since they're all over the place, the, they're telling the zombies you are allowed to go anywhere in this area. And, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like from the outside. Go inside, and uh, this is a reflection probe. This will eliminate weird colors and everything, so you don't have bright red spots or bright blue spots on the wall or whatever. And uh, this is a light, and that will put lighting into the map for you. Uh, this, These one, two... Three and four, those are players' spawn points where the players start because you can play co-op, which is awesome. And uh, that's just a single-player start, kind of. It's It has something to do with that. Uh, over here is a zombie spawner. Zombies will appear there out of nowhere and start coming towards you. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, yeah, there's a dog spawn point because the dog is out here. This is This just contains the information of how the game spawns in the dogs. So this obviously doesn't appear in the map, and neither does this. This is a zombie dog spawner, and it is linked to that. And that's where the zombie dogs will spawn. Uh, this is a zombie spawner for coming out of the ground, and this is where the zombies will come out of the ground from. So that's how that works. And yeah, so that's those are the basic parts of here. And uh, I will explain this in much more detail as we start mapping and getting stuff going. But obviously... When we start the map, you want to push I on your keyboard, and that will select everything. And then hit Backspace. And there we go. Now we are ready to start making your map. So, let me just create a nice flat little 
island here. And here's the 3D view. You can see here that we've got our nice little flat area. Now, if you're wondering how I'm moving this around, uh, in order to move it around, you just right click like that, and then you just drag the mouse. You can drag it left and right to look left and right. Push it forward in order to move forward, and pull it back to move back and left and right. Pull it back and everything like that. Now, if you want to go up and down, you can click right and then hold control. And then when you move the thing up and down, or I'm sorry, when you move the mouse up and down, then it'll uh, move up and down for you. So there you can look up and down and blah, 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 left and right. It'll take you straight across like that. Left and right, move left and right, up and down. Let go of control. When you move up and down on your mouse, it'll take you forward and back. So, and uh, if you hold control, shift, and right click, you can look around like this. You can rotate the camera, swivel it around, and look look everywhere without actually moving yourself. Or, without moving the camera. So anyway, uh, that's, how, that's all of the tools that you need in order to look around. So that's how that works. And uh, here's the two-dimensional view. You can see here that uh, I can change the size in the two-dimensional view, make it small, make it big, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, so uh, if I push Control and then Tab, it changes which dimension I'm looking at. So now I'm looking s at on the second dimension so I can make it a box. You see that on this three-dimensional view? I just made it a box by going like this. So that's how you do that, and I can make it wider and blah, blah, blah. You can also change the size of all this stuff in the 3D view. So if you just left-click, you can move it up and down. If you left-click over here, you can move it like that, and you know all that stuff. So you can still do it from the three-dimensional view, and if you click Control-Tab again, it gives you the third dimension, which would be this way, and this way, or not really. But uh, anyway, it gives you all three dimensions to look at. So here we're looking at the first dimension, which is straight up, straight up and down. So you can use your your uh, mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Comes in very handy. So we can zoom way out here like this, or we can come way in, look at it like that. We can left click in the middle of it and actually move the whole box around. And so th that's basically the all the controls that you need to know. Um, now we have our box here. This is the beginning of a room in Nazi Zombies in any map you want to create. So let's give it a nice little texture. If you want, this is just showing every texture available right now, and so this is a lot of stuff to do work with. So let's just go to text, textures, usage, and then these are all the different textures that you have that you can pick from. So let's pick uh, exterior wall because we're building the outside of a building. So now we can just hop in here. Let me just make this a little bigger. So now you can just hop in here and take a look at all the textures there are. Let's give it brick. I like that. So now what we have here is we have, there we go, I click escape to deselect it, and we have just a big brick box. Now, uh, now remember that the box, I see it disappeared because I went inside of it, the box is solid. There's, It's not hollow, so in essence it can't be a room. So that's a problem, isn't it? Because we need a room. So let's, to oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. To select this, if you just left click, you can see I'm left clicking and it doesn't do anything. You hold down shift and click and that's how you can select it so there it gives us the box and if you want to make it hollow so you can build a room on the inside it would be right up here hollow this button right here just left click and there you go we just made a hollow room so now I can go inside of it and you can see it's hollow pretty sweet now say that we want to have the inside of the walls be a certain color you can just click shift and click and then you've got you selected one wall and you can shift and click another wall to select that one or you can shift and click again and deselect it but see what it does there though is it it selects the entire wall now since we want the outside to be brick but we want the inside to be a different color you hold down shift and control and click there it on, now it only selects this side so now let's give the inside of the wall um let's go with this like that so now we have this side of the wall that and this side brick. So now let's shift and control all these walls on the inside and the ceiling and we'll give it the same texture. So there you go. Now we'll shift and click on the floor and let's see, let's go to textures and we want to go to usage and let's see floor. So now it gives us all the floor textures that we want to use. Let me just get this down a little bit so we can see what we're doing here. So here's all the floor textures. Let's give it that one. 
We like that one. And for some reason, my escape key isn't working very well. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, there you go. So now we have the inside of the f of the room. And on the outside, it's all brick. Should we give the ceiling a different... Let's just do that. Just because it makes it look cool. So now we've got our box. This would be uh, the inside of the room. Pretty sweet, huh? Uh, yeah, not really. This is the beginning of a zombies map. Pretty sweet. So, uh, basic, let's push shift and click on this wall. Now, because because the featured mode of zombies is to uh, um, have the zombies come in through windows, we got to figure out how to build a window, don't we? But first of all, let's uh, pop in this little, this, uh, let's see, actor. Let me just pop in a, a person here. Let's see, where is he? There he is. Let's just pop in a person here so we get a size, so we get the right size. Let's just change that quick. There. Oh, uh, now uh, we just want this guy in here because we just want to see if our room is, you know, too big or too small. But you can see it's about the perfect size. So we, we know that this is the size of our character is going to be about like this. So uh, the the wall, the window should be about right in here, wouldn't you say? Right underneath this this dark streak going down the middle. So that's about good. Click him and then click backspace. Backspace is the delete key. So if we want to have like a wall missing, we can just select it and hit backspace. But obviously we want to keep that wall because otherwise we'd fall off the edge of the map. So uh, click shift and click and we'll select this wall. Now change your two-dimensional view here. And this is where you can create doors and windows and make certain walls have different shapes and things. You want to hit control, hold down control, and then right click on the wall here. There, you get a point. Now we want to click again on a different point, and there you see we split the wall in half. Now hit shift and enter. And there we have both parts of the wall, but they're separated. Now let's do the same thing down here, like that. Oops, we got it a little crooked. And you can move the points to however you want. Control Enter, and there we go. So now let us right or control right click on two more points. And let's get it straightened out here. Enter. Shift enter, I mean. And there we go. Now we have the beginnings of a window. So now push push uh, push escape to deselect everything and then shift click right there. So now let's begin on building our window that we want the zombies to come out of. So, then you can just take it like that and get the window out. And you can select any part of it that you want, but you can see here that we lose a little bit of it here, so that we can take that and patch it up and do whatever you want to. Now that's a little bit high, so let's do that. And let's make this a little bit lower, because the purse we want it to match up with that person that we put in here earlier. Alright, so now you notice that the inside of the window has this yellow outline. Uh, this, what this is, is this is called chalk. I think that's what it's called. Uh, if you can go into here and hit usage and tools and there's chalk right there. Now that, these are all um, things that you can give to a wall like this. See that? You can give it that, but uh, see what that does is chalk is an invisible barrier. It's an invisible wall, so your character will see through it regardless of what it looks like in Radiant. When you get in the actual game, your character will not be able to see this. You'll actually be looking right through the wall into this this gray area. So that's what that looks like. And uh, we obviously don't want that. So hit shift control and then you can only select, you know, this little part, these little parts of the wall. Because if you just hit shift and click, then you'd be selecting the whole wall.
side to your map, you can just select the floor and move this part out, and then you can just like cut a hole, cut a door right here, and make your guys be able to walk around outside. You can make this as big as you want to. You can add more of them. You can control and copy it and add another one like that, and whatever you want to do. And uh, yeah, that's about all there is to it. show you how to add zombie spawners into your map and how to put the window barriers on the on the windows and I'll also show you how to put guns on the wall so stay tuned and come in for the next video on how to do all that cool stuff to your map so thanks for watching and I will see you later